Hello and welcome to the second week of English 235 Technical Writing. Um, at the beginning of every week I will give you an overview like this video. I will try and keep them short, I promise. Uh, normally under 10 minutes, closer to 5 if I can make them short. Uh, but these videos will help you as we walk through all the requirements for the week, what kind of assignments you're going to be working on, where your resources are located, all of that good stuff. This will answer 90% of the questions that most people have uh, for the week's work. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for you to have all that information. So I want to walk through what we're working on together now. So this coming week, week two, uh, we are going to be reading Summarizing, uh, that summarizing chapter from our very excellent Markle textbook. Uh, if these pages do not match up with yours, that means you have a edition, different edition of the book. Um, the bookstore ordered the 12th edition. If you have an alternative edition, just look up the summarizing chapter in your index or in your table of context and you should be able to find the information. The book didn't change all that much between editions. They just kind of reorganized material, but the bulk of the material is the same, so your information will still be good. Uh, then you're going to be reading chapter 20 on writing definitions, and then you're going to begin the definitions assignment. Uh, the definitions assignment will be due on Sunday, but it is um, a two-part assignment, so I do want to make sure that you've got plenty of time to work on it. You're also going to be working on the diagnostic revision exercise. Now, I'm going to do my utmost to have your diagnostic revisions graded by Wednesday, so you have a couple days to do your revision exercise. However, if you don't want to wait for those grades to come back, um, you can begin the revisions on your own uh, using the information located in the Diagnostic Revision Exercise instructions. Um, so if you want to get a head start, feel free, um, but I should have those diagnostic exercises graded by Wednesday. The writing definitions is the big assignment for this week, um, and if you take a look, I've designed a website that, um, along with an excellent counterpart of mine, um, we worked on to help people do very well in this assignment. So make sure you read carefully through here. I've got lots of examples for you. I've got um, models and different things you can do for both parts of this assignment. So do make sure to check this out in its entirety. It will really, really help you be successful here. Uh, and then we'll go back. We'll go back again. There we go. All right, so if we take a look there, um, everything you need is located here in the writing definitions assignments. Uh, you will submit this through the assignments tab as you are submitting assignments tonight um, or Sunday night in uh, the assignments tab as well. So that's in a nutshell what we're working on. I do have lots of excellent resources for us. If you go into our class, English 235, and you click on the modules tab, the modules are a great place to find all the information you need. And so as you're scrolling down, you'll find the Writing Definitions folder. Now the Writing Definitions folder has helpful information for you. Most notably, it has a recorded lecture video that I would highly, highly recommend that you watch before attempting the definitions assignment. I will walk you through the prompt step by step. I will show you the examples um, and I will give you lots of models that will help you create a really um, well-constructed assignment. So please watch through that recorded lecture uh, I also have the PowerPoint available here if you want to have um, those slides to reference later and you don't want to have to click through the whole video to get to them. I have some samples for you as well as an APA citation generator. All of the work that's not originally in your head that then comes out on your paper does need to be cited in APA style. The citation generator will help you figure out how to do that. So lots of great resources for us here. And as a side note, if you ever want to earn extra credit in the class, you can schedule an appointment with the Online Writing Center through CBC, and you can do this up to three times during the quarter to earn extra credit points. All you have to do is send me an email with your tutor's comments, and I'll add those points for you. Um, you can go to the Writing Center more than three times, but only three times is worth extra credit. And then here's a link for CBC technical support staff if you ever have issues with internet things. Uh, so just wanted to point out those great resources as well. So that's our week in a nutshell, guys. Look at that. We kept this video closer to five minutes. Whew. Ah, it's a good start, right? So if you have any questions, reach out. I'm here to help. I hope your week goes really smoothly, and I look forward to seeing what you write.